Hello and welcome back. In this video, we will guide you through the process of setting up your iReselect black box for the first time. You should now be connected to your iReselect black box on your PC, tablet, or MFD, multifunctional display. If you are not connected yet, please watch our video setting up the iReselect black box and then return to this video. Let's begin. Access settings and set up your devices. Preparation. Before setting up your devices on the Iris Select black box, it's crucial to know the channels your devices are connected to on your Iris Sound system. Once you have this information, you can start setting up your devices on the Iris Select black box. Accessing settings. On the home screen of your Iris Select black box, place the provided magnet on the front of the unit for one second. A settings icon will appear in the lower left corner of the screen. Click the settings icon and the screen will split into two. The left side displays your interface. The right side shows the settings page. Navigating the settings page. From the settings page, you can configure your Iris Select black box. Let's dive into the settings menu. Four, top menu bar options. The top menu bar provides four options, hardware settings, radio settings, grid settings, devices. Hardware settings. The hardware settings allow you to change your connection method. From the drop-down menu, you can choose between Ethernet, Wi-Fi access point, client mode. For more details about Ethernet and Wi-Fi access point, please watch our video, Setting up the Iris Select Black Box. Let's instead take a closer look at client mode. Client mode is preferred if you want a wireless connection to your MFD. Requirements. To use client mode, you need an MFD that can act as an access point. Example setup with a Garmin 7-inch MFD. Power up your Garmin MFD. Click Option and then Settings in the lower left corner. Select Communications and then Wi-Fi Network. Turn on Wi-Fi if it is turned off. Set a name and password for your Garmin's Wi-Fi access point. On your Iris Select black box, select Client Mode and press Scan for SSIDs. Locate your Garmin MFD. Enter the password you set and connect. You will now lose connection, and the number 1 will appear on your, on your Garmin screen, indicating that a device is connected to it. Click Close on your Garmin screen and then the Home button. The IWCS Intercom app will now be visible among your apps on your MFD. Click the app icon and you are good to go. Radio Settings from the radio settings, you can edit the number of radios you have, their names, provide a subtitle or description, and determine the actions when you click on one of your radios on the interface. Example, editing radio one, name, Garmin radio, description, channel 16, function, send PTT. Click update radios. Your changes will be reflected on the left side of the screen. Continue this process for the rest of your radios. Note that only radios with a name will appear on your interface home screen. You can add up to four radios. Grid settings. From the grid settings, you have the option to add grids or custom talk groups. You can add up to eight grids. Example, configuring grid one, name all. Description, fully open. Save locked, allows temporary changes that reset to default when you exit. Change locked, only allows viewing without making changes. Colored applies color to vertical grid columns for easy navigation. Set up your grids accordingly and remember to click Update when done. Devices. From the Devices menu, you can customize your grid icons. It is crucial to match the order of your connected units to your Irisound channels for clarity. 
example, configuring device on channel 1. Enter a number or name appears on the grid icon. Choose an appropriate icon from the type drop-down menu. Select a color for the device. Click Update to save changes. Make all your desired changes and ensure they are consistent with your connected devices for optimal functionality.